bit late for the 10 minute arena so only 14 minutes left but uh, as you know i don't mind just go and play one game if we get paired okay let's go so excuse me let's attack the pawn let's just push in the center let's grab so pretty familiar to us doesn't mean we're playing the right moves because it's um, familiar but we're comfortable with the movements so far castle let's take We've got one, two, three. He's got two pieces protecting. I'm going to take, unless there's funky tactics that I don't know about. So just click clenching up at the minute. It's going to take. Queen is on the rook. Rook's got no protection at the minute. If the queen's looking to get arty or something. Bishop's on the rook now. I'm gonna have to move this B pawn. Always for the B pawn. Let's move the B pawn. So we're not having to babysit. Let's get the bishop off the board. Could turn out to be a nice steady draw. Okay, what do we want to do? I'm gonna bring this out here, attacking the pawn. Just to give them something to think about. Obviously, we can just drop. We want to try and own the files if we can. Oh, splitting his pawn even more. Good. That's a plus for us, I think. Let's bring this rook here, attacking the pawn. Let's just bring this rook to help support the attack on the pawn. Let's push this pawn up, supporting, developing. So take it nice and easy with the basic chest now. So they're actually going for the rook. I'm going to just bring the rook like we were going to do. So we have a pawn majority on this side. So if they do take, do we take with the pawn so that this pawn is blocking this? Or do we take with the rook and leave him with this pawn here? That feels cleaner. But this one feels like it's keeping them having to. So the king's going to have to come and support. It could hit the pawn. Don't think the king's fast enough. So if they go one. Oh, it is fast enough. Sorry, I'm mistaken. We go one. He can get he'll get there in time. But we can take with the pawn. He takes, we take. So his king's going to be further across. So I think we need to move our king. Let's get the king over. Let's keep getting the king over. And do we move it across and up and up and up like this? Or do we, are we going to get hit? The idea I'm thinking is, can we get the king here to here, but those rooks just going to put checks on us. With the idea of our king getting here, but that won't be possible really, will it? Uh, if we start moving too far over though, his rook can come across, can't it, here. Moves his king, then he starts coming down for the pawns. I suppose we can retreat with the... Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try, go for a king walk. We probably didn't need to do any of what we're talking about and just simply start pushing these pawns up. Because past pawns want to be pushed, don't they? That's the basics, so let's not think about the king. Maybe just start pushing these pawns up. Get them elevated. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's do the pawn thing. Then at least our king's a bit closer if his rook decided to do that, but don't think they will, but they might do. Kings move back. So does that give us the option of doing this? It does because he can't get that rook. So if we pushed, he doesn't have to take. If he takes, we take with the rook. I think that looks better for us. I'm actually going to hit the palm. It's come back down. So if we push the pawn here onto the rook, if the king takes, then obviously that's going to get promoted. And there's also ifs in there. If we go here and the rook just moves across to attack it, then we've lost the pawn. So that's not going to work. And our rook's got no defense on. So that whole situation has not worked, has it? Because even if we take here, this king just takes our rook. Hmm. We take. Rook takes. Pawn takes. King takes. And we've still got this pawn majority here that they've got to contend with. I think I'm willing to go with that, you know. Because that's the whole idea of having the pawn majority, isn't it? Let's take and get the king up, see if it works. I'm hoping we don't get Zug's one, but his king would have to come all the way down here to get these pawns. So he's going to have to come across and block. Is there a combination of him stopping this? I don't, personally, I don't see it. Let's come here. Maybe I could have pushed the pawn first. Let's put the check on. So he's going to have to deal with our pawn. So we could, in theory, when he goes across, we could, in theory, go here. He takes, we go here, he moves down, we go here, he moves down, we go here, he moves down, we take, he takes, we take, he takes, we push. He pushes, we push, he pushes, we push, he pushes, push, push, queen. And where's his king? It's not on the dark square, is it? And he queens. So it could end up being a draw, couldn't it? Is there something I can do in the mean, first of all, before we do any of that dancing? Move the pawns up, blocking so his pawns don't get down. Makes it harder for them. I think it's this one, isn't it? Let's push this. Let's push this. Let's do it different. That way it looks like it could end up being a draw. I'm not really interested in that. I want to try and practice for advantages. So surely it's something. Let's get all this jam down. Yeah, let's get this jam down. And it might be a better advantage for us moving across and taking only two pawns. I think that's a lot better psychology. Yeah, I like that thinking. Excellent. It's not saying we've won, but we've got less pawns to chase and we don't have to go that far up the board and just capture. And now, but now this is the movement. It is in the center, which is good, the pawn. So if we are coming across, come across, he takes. If we come across, he starts going back up. We take, he starts going back up. We go up. He comes across, 
So it's that opposition rubbish again. But I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's better than the pawn being on the edge. Yeah, so it's going for the opposition. So if we just go one. He has to move one way or the other. We have to time it right. So he has to go one way or the other. And if we go like this, he then drops down. But then if we push, can't come down. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So he drops, we push, can't come and attack it. So it's going to get promoted. I am really loving that end game. Different mindset towards that end game. Doing the count. Yeah, it's getting promoted. Yes, loving it, loving it, loving it. They've been constantly doing that manoeuvre of moving the king and then coming around, taking all the pawns at the top. But in basic, simple terms, just get rid of those pawns if you can or lock them down as high up the board as he can so that it doesn't give the opponent that um, ability to promote their pawns. Excellent.